Hey everybody, this is Sean Pell. I am actually playing dad today, which I play dad every day, I guess. Uh, my little boy is at school and his GT racing chair just came in. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit as to why I chose this one over other brands that we have uh, we had been looking at or I had been looking at personally. Uh, GT racing had a really nice one. I thought it was very classy looking. It was the GT 901. It's a couple of years old. There's lots and lots of reviews for it and uh, a lot of video reviews at YouTube. And one of the nicest features about it was it was laying all the way back. Well, to be honest, y'all, I may actually wind up still buying that chair, but for me and my son, uh, I needed to get a chair for both of us. You know what I'm saying? So, so I let his come in first, and then I was gonna decide upon it, and then go from there. The actual chair that I actually chose, y'all, is a GT Racing. It's the Walmart brand, and the way you can always tell Walmart's got a W in it is GTW 100 Black is actually the one that I got. Let me show you what it looks like. My phone is not letting me flip over from front to rear, so I apologize. I'm gonna have to do this this way, let you see what it looks like here. All right, first of all, it's got the diamonds in it. It's got the legs that pull down, uh, you know, leg rests itself. Uh, it is a very sexy box, despite the, the uh, wrapping for the, um, uh, tape, it's still a very sexy chair. Um, so I'm going to be putting this together and tell you my thoughts on it. But y'all, just to let you know, in all honesty, it was a real big choice between this one and the GT901. Uh, the biggest benefits for this one would be that it plays music. Uh, you know, it's got the actual Bluetooth speakers. It's got the pullout, just like the 901. It's also got the, um, um, you know, it lays back but it only does 135 degrees compared to the GT901 uh, that actually goes like 160, 170 degrees, depending on where, where you read it from. Uh, it says different angles as far as that. But you watch a lot of videos and them, them things are going really flat. Also the GT901, uh, is even though it's one of the sexiest looking ones in my opinion, one of the biggest issues with it was also the fact that um, the armrests were terrible. So you'd have most of the reviews that were just saying they didn't like the armrests, they were loose, they were shaking. So with this one, the armrest is actually built into it. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So when it tilts back, any of these that have this built into it with GT Racing is only going to get 135 degree. But with the, the fact that when you lay back, the chair tilts with it, or you can set it where it'll tilt, and you got the leg rest, I really thought I would look at this one first. I can see this having a lot of fun having two chairs like us putting this into the living room and sitting back and watching and we got projectors in the next room a uh, pool table room and uh we might actually be you know just taking it laying back and enjoying so if the 135 is good in that angle i'm definitely going to go with that another option is walmart is selling this at 169.99 for the gt901 uh plus you still got to pay uh, $30 for shipping and handling. So it's a $200 chair when it's all said and done. I don't see any reviews for this GTW uh, 100. I think it's the 100. Pretty sure they got a GT200. Uh, yeah, 100 black. I didn't see any reviews for it at all. So I thought this would be a really good one to put together. Um, the good thing about this one was it was $149 uh, compared to Walmart. But at the same time, it was also uh, free shipping and handling. Anything from Walmart uh, comes that way. Uh, there was a couple of chairs, actually. One for Christmas time right now, if you go through like Black Friday or anything now, it was uh, $99. The reviews were not that good for it. It was black and red only. Where I think this is a little sexier with that black all over. That GT901 really sold me on that. It's just a sexy looking chair. Uh, so I'm gonna put this together. I'm not going to show the video putting it together, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you when it's done, uh, what exactly I thought about, you know, the, the putting it together and stuff like that. I did actually find the chair at Amazon for the GT901 for $139, but you're still paying $30 shipping and handling. I went to GT Racing and actually spoke to someone uh, in comparison because the GT, when you read the reviews about the 901, y'all, it's really all in the air. You can have one person say it was thicker, it was made perfect for someone tall, and then you have someone else that say it was terrible, it was thin, it was, you know, made, I'm, I'm five foot 10 and, and I feel like I'm huge in this chair. So you really can't get anything from the reviews because they're so wildly from one end to the other, but it's an older chair. So if this thing's 
actually goes back as far as I think it will. And this diamond are sexier than I thought it was going to be in this picture. To be honest, I think it's going to be a gorgeous chair, but we're, we're going to find out everything about it. And I'll let you know in just a minute. Um, but if it winds up not fitting the bill, I may still go with that GT901. This will be his. He'll be happy with the speakers. The 901 does not have the speakers in the back, and it is a little bit older. Um, but I will tell you this. I think Walmart did a good job. What they picked in the price range that they did these things in, the GT200 looks a lot like the 901. The only thing difference is Walmart is keeping these nice armrests, uh, which nobody complains about that, and they're padded too, so it's really, it looks like an upgrade. Uh, and in the 901, this has V-shapes that go up, where in the, uh, the 200 Walmart brand, it goes down, but it has this down here. The only thing lacking in the 200 brand is the actual uh, speakers in comparison to this. So if the Bluetooth is a selling point for me once I put this together, I may actually decide on just buying two of these. This came to my house in two days. Last thing, last note I'll tell you before I put this thing together, y'all, is that the 901 and a lot of the chairs from GT or Amazon, they are coming from all over the world uh, or United States or some in California and stuff like that. So shipping and handling itself could be a little bit longer. Uh, when I call GT Racing for the 901, they have a warehouse in South Carolina, but nowhere in South Carolina do they have it low and showing of having any of them. Uh, so when I actually got this from Walmart, it came from North Carolina. It was here within 48 hours. So that may be a you know something to think about as well. I'm pretty sure it was sitting in a Walmart warehouse and was sent from North Carolina to here. Uh, I will tell you, as beautiful as this chair is and the price of it and has all the, you know, the bells and whistles that basically GT Racing has, I think if this chair right here was sitting in Walmart, I think it'd be selling off the shelves. I think it would be gone. That's the honest truth. But looking at this picture on this box, it's a much sexier uh, chair than I first anticipated by looking at it online. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll let you know any issues I have or anything at all. Appreciate it. Alrighty, everybody, just to let you know, if you're scared to cut into this thing because of, uh, you know, the, the leather and stuff like that, whatever you got, you know, your material, don't worry about it. They have got this thing in such a way you're not even close to that. Uh, plus, you got your other pieces right here. So go ahead and feel free to open that up freely. Go ahead and show you what this looks like. Alrighty. And this is actually how it comes. It looks like it's really boxed very well. Um, so I'll let you know how long it takes me starting right now. All right, everybody, I wanted you to see how loud it is here. This is with a PC hooked up. I listen to Grand Theft Auto Music, that's the radio station, so let me pause it. It'll become an issue here. Okay, uh, I've got a lot of things to talk about here. First of all, the metal down here on the bottom, it's nice. Uh, the speakers, if you are Bluetooth into your phone, you are not gonna get very loud, and y'all, this is not uncommon. I've seen it many a times. My PC is killing it. It is at least two, if not three times louder that way with the PC. It is a sexy looking chair. Um, when it's raised all the way up, my feet are dangling. When it's at its lowest level, I am comfortable with it and I am six feet tall. I weigh a, a roughly about 180 pounds, 185 pounds. Uh, this thing holds me fine. Uh, the wheels move fine. The headrest up here, y'all. Some of the complaints is that it's too loose. It's probably going to drop down, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'll tell you what that is. Most of y'all are not uh, tightening this up. The adjustment is actually coming back through here. You can take it and put it here. Then, in other words, take this part, go through here, ruin it back over here. And you can take a zip tie or anything if you really wanted to and make it right. But, y'all, just so you know, elastic is going to stretch over a period of time. So... If that's an issue for you, then you're just going to have to deal with it, but put it back where it's supposed to be. I was very, very impressed by laying my head back. Uh, this is a great pillow for your neck. Um, I, I love this look right here that kind of has the carbon fiber edges. Um, to me, it's as sexy as any of the GT racing chairs. I like simplicity. I don't care for something to be loud. I want something to look classy, and I think it does that. Um, just down here, the lumbar pillow, the biggest thing I'm really seeing with it, y'all, is it's there. Uh, you can push it down where it's not an issue. Even when you lay it back to the 135 degrees, it's still not really causing any kind of issues. I'm trying to make sure you can see some good lighting on it. 
see how pretty this thing is. It's a sexy, sexy chair, y'all. It honestly, to me, looking at it, it looks a lot like a, um, what would you call it? A, uh, a barber chair or something, you know, if you walked in somewhere. Uh, the armrest, y'all, is perfect. I, listening to the complaints of the others, I will flat out tell you, I'm not going to get uh, the 901 because of the fact of how shaky it is and stuff like that. Y'all, this is firm. Um, the way it looks is very nice. It's got a nice look to it. Um, it's, it. It does not affect anything when you slide it back and things of that nature. Uh, the diamonds, I'm feeling it, man. This is one of those chairs, I think it's prettier in person. And if they had one of these set up on display, I, I tell you people, I think that people will jump on this all day long for free shipping at 149 uh, my son's at school. He has no idea that I put this together for him. He's going to be tickled to death. Compared to this to what it has, the music, I wish I could tell you how loud it really is. Uh, I will tell you this. Give me two seconds. I'm going to get my PC. I'm going to back this up to just the GTA talking spots. You know, uh, whatever cruising means to you. Be quiet for a second, y'all. Hello, I am Fernando Martinez. People always say to me, Fernando, when I want to kill myself or cry into my pillow or my wife has just left me for my sister, I don't have no music to play, assuming I am not near a radio and can listen to you on the radio. Because, Fernando, you are a genius, and it is the only station I ever... Okay, y'all. I think it sounds great. Uh, I really do. I was not expecting any bass or anything from this, y'all. Uh, obviously, the, the cord that connects it up here is, is right here at the bottom. This part is not where it's at. It's got a nice little pocket on the side. Uh, it just pops out. You can even match the button from here. Uh, it connected immediately without any issues at all to my phone. Uh, I was not impressed with how quiet it was, uh, to be honest. It's, I'm going to say, one-third of what the volume that you're hearing and for anybody that's a PC gamer, you're going to be loving this. I'm sure it's going to sound great. And to be honest, I am sure I can probably manipulate it to do even louder than that. It's just not necessary. Uh, it's nice to see this thing separated. I can't tell you how far apart it will go from the actual, um, you know, from, from distance-wise. But they say online it's got about six hours of uh, actual charge time. And I wouldn't be surprised. The lights are little LED lights. There's blue, uh, four of them. And each one is an indicator for 25%. I'm guessing she's going to last a long time as small as these speakers are. Number one thing you got to look at with speakers, y'all. And this is going by reviews. I did a lot of homework. Make sure this thing pops into place until it snaps. Some of these people are not letting this thing snap into place. And then they're whining and complaining about it. When honestly, it's their own fault for not doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, and that's pick, clicking it all the way back. So I've taken some more notes, y'all. I want to make sure I haven't missed anything. I might mention a couple things that I've already said, um, but I want you to make sure that you know everything about this. First of all, y'all, the instructions are great. Uh, had absolutely no problems with it. The actual time for me to put this thing together, I'm guessing probably, I got a little sidetracked. I did a couple things, but I'm guessing probably 28 minutes to 32 minutes, somewhere in the ballpark. A couple of minutes for me to do something on the PC. Uh, I'm a, I actually make YouTube videos. Uh, I've got about 1,500 of them on my channel. So, and, and not for this kind of thing. It's just I really wanted to do a review for this chair. So, for me personally, can I see me using this every day? Absolutely. Uh, the shocker to me is these armrests are probably a lot better. Once you have it pointed up at the 90 degree or something like you would probably use, it's going to be very beneficial. I, I don't think, I think the 901 people are going to be wishing they had these armrests. You know what I'm saying? That's the honest truth. Secondly, y'all, you know, is I can see me being in the same for a long period of time. It is firm. It's firmer than a lot of y'all probably would like. When I first took it out, I was like, wow, this is, you know, don't look like it's got a lot of cushion, especially the back. I was thinking that. But y'all, I will tell you, I don't have any problem with that. The biggest fear you're going to go is coming from something like this to this. There's a big difference. But whatever you're thinking, y'all, it's, it's over. As soon as you lay this back at 135 degrees uh, and lock it into place, you're comfortable. It's a really, really comfortable chair. Let me lock it into place. And I do have something else to say about it in just a second here. I'll show you how far back it goes. All right. Now, sorry about that. My phone will let me flip over for whatever reason. 
that's 135 degrees. Now, something a lot of y'all are going to like and some of you aren't going to like. This chair, let me show you this one. This one right here I have used for years and have made hundreds of YouTube videos with. It's got a rocking chair. It's a little rocking part. Often you'll have that piece down there. It's a big ball that hangs down and you turn it and you can tighten it and loosen it. This chair does not have it at all. So if you want a rocker, this is not your chair because it's not going to rock. The only rock you're going to get is just to give itself from the chair. Now, with that being said, laying this bad boy back with the headrest, uh, the lumbar, just like it is, and the legs up, I can sleep in this thing without a doubt. And I will tell you, I have, you know, if I was not happy with this chair, I would point blank say, y'all, this chair sucks. I would take it back, blah, blah, blah. I am fine with this chair. And as much as I like the 901, I think the diamonds look good. I think it has exact same sexy, classy look to it. I think with the speaker feature, with the metal legs, uh, with this cushion right here, y'all, I'm telling you, gonna, your arms are going to love you for that. And the fact that you can wipe this thing off so much easier than something like this I've been using for the longest time. This is my son's chair, but do I see me buying one? I would have absolutely no problem getting this chair. Uh, Walmart has another one. It's the 200, and it looks like the 901. The 901's lines go up in, in you know, it's little diamonds or triangles that go up. Uh, or to a v-shape well the 200s go down um, And it's basically from what I can tell the exact same chair as this one So it's just a matter of are you more interested in going with the diamond shape? Or are you more interested in going with the you know the v-shape itself? Uh, armrests feel great uh, firm and look uh, good installed number one complaint on the GT 901 No one will ever complain with these chairs armrests period nice cushions for it uh, leg rest, y'all. I'm six foot, 180 pounds. It feels good. Goes to the back of my calves. Uh, when I actually wrote that, it was actually in a little bit. So when I came out and stretched it out, it actually it, it went just a tad below my calves. It was really good. Um, hangs down very little. Feels good. Now again, I've heard some people say that this thing's bending and stuff. I'm not seeing it. Now I'm not a 300 pound person. But I'm not seeing any bending in the actual legs either. So I think y'all, I think we're good to go on that part. I don't see it breaking or anything for a while. And of course, the stainless steel look is sexy with the black and the white. Um, I think that's a really big benefit. I wouldn't want this chair without it. That's just me. I, I, would, I would stay away from other chairs, even if it was cheaper for this. And from what I can do math-wise, uh, math it's about $20 to have this feature added compared to a chair that does not have it. So absolutely, uh, you can easily sleep in this chair. Y'all, we have actually got, uh, I may take it in there in just a minute. I got a projector in the other room and it's about a nine foot screen. And me and my son, I could actually see us sliding this into there and laying back him in his chair and me in my chair and enjoying movies, uh, you know, or whatever we're watching on TV. So I can see this as possibly being a great chair for this very thing, especially me and him together. Uh, you could easily sleep in this chair. Taking out is easier than putting in, adjust, or leave the bar. Okay, what I'm referring to is this right here. When you're putting the actual leg rest in, this folds out and it goes in. Um, some of these people are complaining about it. Well, there are adjustments to when you put the screws in. It gives you a little bit of play to go left and right. So you could play with that. And at the same time, y'all, these bars is bendable. So you could put this in where it's supposed to be. And then bend it in or bend it out and then try it again and see what happens. Understand what I'm saying? So you can see, is this exactly what you want? Obviously, taking it out is a lot easier than putting it in. Uh, if you're trying to put it in, don't go beating it. If you're having issues, just fold this over and rock it left or right, left or right. And it'll go back in a lot quicker that way. Uh, Bluetooth speakers can make it immediately. First try was lower with the phone. Um, so the very first time I connected it, it sounded a little quiet. I uh, unhooked the Bluetooth, reconnected the Bluetooth, and it was louder. Both sides were working. I didn't have any issues with that because I already heard reviews talking about it to make sure I did it. Uh, but it was something to note that the second time I hooked up, it actually was louder than the first time with my phone. Um, make sure speaker wires are clicked. I already talked about that. Sounds good, comfortable, sounds really good. Six hours or so is the charge time. Phone will be quieter than your PC. PC Bluetooth is twice, I'll say three times louder, to be honest. Forget the phone. 
Uh, I would even do the phone and I would go with the actual uh, uh, PC or something else. I have not hooked it up to a gamer or anything like that, but I knew that the PC was going to get louder and it did do that very thing. Plastic and shrink wrap is how it, basically everything was done. I was impressed. Even some of the pieces I took off, it popped. It was so tight and, you know, the, the, the actual delivery um, and the, the way they had put everything in the box was put very well. Um, the uh, tape, the screws on the sides with a ribbon. I thought that was really cool so you wouldn't lose it. So even if the box had a hole, the most important parts is going to be some of the screws and stuff. You know, I don't think the big part is going to fall out. So what they did is they took a ribbon and connected it to the side of the box, and it, it worked really well. Now, here's a big tip. Don't rip the front off. when you Let's say that you are uh, on part number two, and you had to start doing the screws, and it says to pull B and C out or something like that. Just pop it through the front, through the back, so you don't have screws where it laying around everywhere and you don't know what goes what. Just pop what you're using. That's a big tip, and it's going to really help you in, uh, you know, in, in keeping everything organized while you install this thing. Hey, everybody. I just wanted to finish with this little part right here. That room right there is the living room, and we've got a 65-inch TV in there. I can see us totally using this chair in there, me and him putting it together beside each other, laid back and enjoying it. Uh, this is actually the pool table room. His laptop is over there in his desk, and the old game uh, chair that we've had forever, it's not a gaming chair, uh, is sitting there. But this is actually the pool table room where we have the projector uh, sitting right here. And I can totally see having two of these put beside each other, probably <laughs> something to eat, some snacks in the middle or something. Just in laying back enjoying uh, this chair. Uh, I will honestly tell you, I can see this is, it's more to me a piece of furniture, a good piece of furniture, as opposed to just some gaming chair. And the fact that it's not red and black, what they call the Deadpool combination of color, to me really kind of represents a more classy look. I would highly suggest going in the black, to be honest, with the white writing right here below it. And uh, I think no matter what you use it for, if it's going to be for watching TV or projection screens and stuff, laying back, even getting naps in this thing, uh, I think you're going to be very, very happy. This is $149 well spent. Thanks for watching.